Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's, it's a wedding invitation that would be folded and be cut out. And probably the easiest thing to do would just be, and I've kind of started redrawing one. But I just took the original just to kind of answer his question. And there's a few problems with this particular one because you need to get rid of some of these. If you're going to cut this out, you always need to think about that if you cut out something, it's going to fall out. You know, so if you cut out a whole object, it's gone and everything in its entirety is going to be gone. But I traced it and it came out okay. I mean, I changed it to a bitmap and I traced it. And the only way I can really figure out how to do it would be to go and put an outline around it, which is going to, I'll well, tell you back, let's, let's back up. Let's make it all in black so you can kind of see it. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put an outline around it. The outline's in red. Now what you can do is go to effects and contour and contour that 0 0.02 to the outside and you get that effect let's get rid of our contour doctor what it did it contoured the boundary so let's get this thing out of the way for a second this is you've got to really be thinking about what you're doing So there's our completed, basically our deal. This, well, let me keep the yellow box. Let's just nudge that out of the way for a second. You need to break the contour part. We well, need to select it all. Go to range, break contour part. Then take the outside and nudge it back over. Now, we don't necessarily need those inside parts. But you can leave them, it doesn't really matter. It's going to cut the other ones out. So we're going to go up here to arrange and break curve apart. And then the easiest thing would be to just grab your outside and nudge it out of the way. Take these parts. And I'm going to put it back in the yellow just so you can kind of see. So if we did it right now, this would cut out. And it, the whole thing would be gone. This is what it would look like if we cut it out right now. It'd just be a big void. Even though these little pieces would cut, the big piece is going to cut out and it's just going to fall out. So what you can do to prevent that and do it kind of like the card is, is to stop that from cutting it all the way out. Well, it's going to cut it all the way out, but uh, instead of making a hole. So we can take like a two-point line, and I'm just going to do this with two-point line so you can get the idea. You'd want to curve these lines, you know, make it kind of look like that or fall into the pattern, and then you could take your virtual segment delete key and delete that black line. Now, when you cut it out, it's going to look like that. It's going to stay together, and this would be the fold. So, and like what I was saying earlier, you would want to uh, maybe put some, you know, let's take a, well, let's do it. Let's take a ellipse, bring it in here. To get it past the page. And then cut this out. This well. You know what, it might be, let's back up here. Let's see if we can't figure out how to do front minus back on this particular deal. Because it's all one big object. That's the opposite of what we want. That doesn't work. We well, you know what, that would work for a second. Whenever, you got to think about things like this. Let's move all this out of the way. Let's make a duplicate of this. Control D. Nudge it out of the way. Now let's do this. 
and that's pretty cool. Now we can take our ellipse away and nudge this back. And see what I'm doing? Now we can take our virtual segment delete key. And you can delete the two parts of that line, then possibly click on that. Move that out of the way and click on this and break curve apart. And then you can click on that line and delete that line. Then you could bring this line back in. Because what you have, you had double lines there. But we still need to get rid of that line. So we're going to just take our virtual segment delete key and delete. And there's probably another way you can do this with front minus back. There we go. And that's what it's going to look like. Let me make my yellow box a little bit bigger. And of course, you'd want it for the fold of the paper and, and everything. So that's what it's going to look like. And this would be the you know, the fold of the paper would be right here. So let's put another line, let's say here. Actually move it over a little bit. And what it did, it gave you a little bit of a better look with a little bit of a curvature in those lines. I hope that answered his question. Now see right here, you're going to have to fix that because these lines are too close together in this particular case. Now, like I said earlier, and I might make a second video, you can start drawing your own, but you always need to think about that it's going to cut out. So if you do this one right here, this should stay together because I put some crosses, but I've, I've got some, I've got another idea on that. So possibly stay tuned for part two of this series. Anyway. I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.